Hey guys, this is Sean again with Pittsburgh Power. Here we have a 2000 Peterbilt 379 with the Cummins N14 Select Plus engine. Uh, the customer is experiencing low fuel mileage, so we're having it on the dyno to check fuel pressure, boost, pyro, stuff like that. Same thing with you guys. If you guys have a truck low on fuel mileage or on horsepower, we can do the same thing with the dyno. It works really well. So we're going to hook it up and go to town and see what this thing puts down for power. So, <clears throat> recap. We uh, flip this on the dyno, hook the gauges up, this is the ones I can get to. Just so you know, this is fuel pressure off the gear pump. I got boost hooked up to our dyno. Yellow wire on the far side is the pyrometer. We will cruise over here and take a look at that. His factory pyro, I pulled that out, put ours in. Just so you know guys, that is after the turbo, considered on the, consider the cold side. Um, just so you know, a thousand degrees or less is ideal temperature after the turbo. Guys, so we just did the first baseline pull, so we're gonna take a look at the numbers and see what it did. So we have here, here's the graph, all right. So this blue line is the RPM. You can see as it comes up, we do a start at high RPM pull down. The green line, that's your torque. This pink line here is the pyrometer temperature, and this other darker green line is actual horsepower. So now we'll come down, scroll down, and look at the actual numbers here. Um, so, highest horsepower we had on this pole was 490 horsepower at 1825 RPM. Yeah. And torque, we did 1545. And the, the program in this is a, is a factory program, uh, 555 flywheel, horsepower flywheel to the um, so these are our ground numbers. Um, boost, we got up to 30 pounds of boost, which is right on. Pyrometer temperatures, we got to 900, which is really, really good. Um, keep it nice and cool. And fuel pressure is at 158. And uh, spec on this engine is about 150. So we have plenty of fuel pressure. Pyro looks good, nice cold pyro. Boost is great, so did really good for a baseline. All right, guys, so after seeing the baseline did really well, um, to address this issue, we're going to do an ECM tune for fuel mileage and a little bit of horsepower. So we're shooting for 550 horsepower to the ground and between 1650 and 1750 torque to the ground. All right, guys, we're going to take a look again at the last poll we just did with the tune. Um, this time we did 534 horsepower and 1620 
on torque. So a little low, so we're going to go ahead and readjust the tune a little bit and uh, do another dyna pull and get it up there a little higher. Take a look at the last dyna pull we just did. So horsepower on this one we did 590 to the ground and torque 1790. So did a lot better. We finally got our numbers we were looking for. Um, but we're good to go with this truck, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the dyno. And uh, this guy's done, he's ready to go on the road. Try it out.